Problem number 14. Which one of these seems to match the descriptions right here? That refers to problem number 10, where I describe certain things, and also number 12, where it describes our maximum and so forth. So let's look at either, let's start with what we're looking for. A wide, vertically compressed parabola. So I start with my original parabola like this, and I want it to go wider. That means I'm going to have a fraction. So here's my fraction, although these are also fractions. But it doesn't, the negative signs turn them upside down, so I have upside down or I have the idea of a maximum. So number one matches description A. Well, that's a terrible looking one. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. There's no vertically compressed or vertically stretched. All it is is this one is turned upside down. So we're not compressed or stretched. We just need a parabola with a vertex at its maximum. So that would be something like a vertex at its maximum like this. There's no stretching or compressing. So letter B matches description 3. Here we have something that is upside down. We've already taken up 1 and 3. Vertically stretched, upside down. So the negative sign matches the upside down. This 4 fifths if we had it upside down about like this, let's say, I'm not plotting it perfectly, the four-fifths makes it a little bit wider, but not much. So that means, so that fits the bill of the wide upside down parabola. So let's make, we know that number two goes here, but let's look at it. We have a vertex at two, one, we have a five, so it's facing upward vertically stretched. So if I have an original parabola, say approximately like this, if I multiply by 5, I just get higher values much faster, so it just makes it look more like this. So letter D is in fact matching number 2. Thank you for listening.